We are back with budget cuts. The team looks amazing. Could not complain one little bit. I got Vita Blue up to parallel two, and he's almost parallel three, three because of Conquest. Team is almost full diamonds in the rotation. Still got three golds in the bullpen. Used to be four, but Bryce Glacius went up to an 87. Oh, we also have Aaron Loop in the bullpen, but he might as well be a 90. He might as well be a 99. Lineup fully diamond. Bobuchet went gold, so we don't have him anymore. Ketel Marte went to an 81, so we got rid of him because of that point. We might as well have Harmon Killebrew out there. Um, is my camera lagging? I can't tell. I'll figure that out after. But we got some packs open. We got 14 standards, three balling, four headliners. These two don't really matter. We got two headliners, 25K packs. I didn't have stubs at the time of the flash sale, so I couldn't really get anything done there. But we've earned stubs since, so I did end up getting the set nine headliners. Hopefully we can get him. I've heard good things about him, actually. So we'll see how he does. But we'll go ahead and open these first. Because they don't really matter. Alright. Let's open our 14 standards to start. See if we can pull any heat. Roster update did just happen not too long ago, too. So we can still pull, like, bronzes and stuff that go for a shit ton. There we go. We got a guy. God damn it. I'm going to go with the res right now and just get that done with so I don't forget about it. Was it this guy? Yeah, it was this guy. Just go ahead and quick sell him. Six more. Haven't really pulled shit besides that. Nathan Eovoldi, okay. Save him for a time we need stubs. Will Smith. That's a good one. Of course, he's not playing over JT, but it's a good one. Last pack of the standards. Get Alex Wood. Okay. Three ball packs. We have a 1 in 15 chance for a diamond. Let's see what we can do here. Edwin Diaz. Right now, he is supercharged. So, I'll use him over Diego Castillo. Okay. I'll take that. I don't know how much longer he's supercharged for. Logan Gilbert. He doesn't make a rotation. Last one. A few silvers and a gold. Corey Seager. Yeah, he's not looking too good anymore we got two manual margos in that pack okay all right set one headliner spencer torkelson is the topper and we pulled the diamond in the second slot it's different who do we got san diego padres okay i already know this is not a bad one he could be a 90 this year he could end up being a 90 he's already an 88 he's having a fucking great year so far let him get rid of him that is a good one. I'll put him on the bench for now. See what we end up doing with him. Uh, probably Bo Bichette's going to be the one going. No, nah, we'll do Hunter Renfro. All right, set two. We got the Billy Wagner. Definitely would like him in my pen. We do just get a silver here. Oh, 2,500. Holy shit, that's a lot. Set three, Kenny Lofton. Don't really want this card. Not a fan. We don't get him. All right. Set five, Eric Davis, yet again, not a big fan. Don't really care much for him. All right. So we got the set seven headliner, which will give us Matt Carpenter, who's a pretty damn nice card. And we also got the set nine, Ryan Sandberg. Uh, which, by the way, if we do put the headliner spot, we can get like Mo or Billy Wagner in the pack, which I'd probably take. First pack. Okay, so we get... Matt Carpenter, Spencer Torkelson, and Dennis Eckersley. Gotta go with Matt Carpenter here. I mean, Dennis Eckersley is just not a good reliever. Slider, sinker, four seam, nothing's really thrown that hard. It's not that good of a card. 
we gotta take Matt Carpenter and add him to the team. We'll figure out where to put him. I kind of want him to be, uh, so he'll be like second base, and we'll probably move Seager over to shortstop. Or we'll move him to third, and Cronenworth can go over to shortstop. That's probably the plan. But we'll figure that out after. Set nine headliner. Can we get lucky twice? We do! What the fuck? Matt Carpenter again. Kenny Lofton, but Ryan Sandberg. So we end up getting both. God damn. One in three chance for both, and we get both. So that is going to kick O'Neill Cruz off the starting lineup, sadly. It's just, hey, it happens, man. Uh, that's going to move him over to shortstop. Move Ryan Sandberg over to second. And that's actually going to boot Cronenworth off the starting lineup, which I'm not really upset with. Uh, Cronenworth doesn't have an amazing swing by any means. Like, he's not bad. He'll hit for an average, but he really doesn't hit for power at all. And all these other guys have great swings with great power. I mean, they're they're going to look good out there. So we got Ryan Sandberg and Matt Carpenter added to the team. And we also added uh, Edwin Diaz to the bullpen right now. He's supercharged for another six and a half hours, so we'll probably get a game in with him. I'm not going to be recording the game right away. Just getting the pack opening done and dealt with, and then we'll get the gameplay later. Hopefully, in six and a half hours, we can at least have the game going. So maybe we have him as an option. But uh, yeah, all right, we'll get into a game with this team. I like it. We got two 90 plus upgrades, huge ones too. Team's looking good, man. All right, we got Logan Webb on the mound. Frankie Mantas. Oh my God. Yeah, we got the team vantage. All right, holy shit. That is <laughs> a rough team. That's a rough one. We should have no problem with this one. I don't even know what our record is. I haven't played this game. I haven't played this on this account in a while now. 6 and 0, 9 and 12. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I haven't played a ranked game in a bit. Okay, that's a base hit. We don't base hit. Nah, we, I, I'd be surprised if we don't get this guy in the first inning. Oh, oh my god, he hit that out. I've heard good things about this Ryan Sandberg again. To make that nice of a swing with Sandberg, guys, I'm excited. Ooh, good swing with Carpenter, but is that Hosmer? He's a double player, double kind of guy. He's all about the doubles. Good swing, Seager. Yeah, that's a, that's a is that a home run? It's not a it's not a hit. Excuse me. Okay, swings at it. Does make a good swing on it though. Gonna be safe. I'm gonna be safe, I say. Well, when you got bucks down out there, it doesn't matter. Everything's gonna be ran down. Yeah, was just, that was a sinker down there. This might actually be a directional hitter. That might be what we're dealing with right now. Couldn't hit the sinkers inside, but when it goes down the middle, he's able to hit it and play. That is a home run. Josh Bell is so fucking good. Oh, that's it. That's what yanks the leash. So now we gotta wait for Josh Bell to get home, and that'll be that. So it was one more run. That's not surprising. He was just testing, I guess, to see if the first inning was luck or if it was just gonna be a consistent thing. Okay. You gonna give me it? There we go. We are seven and zero. It's insane how six games only keeps me in three hundred. Still, it didn't. It didn't boot me down for the new season. You stay at the spot you're at until I think it's like All Star or something. I don't know. Maybe after that they boot you down. Okay, we'll have those packs for later. I will be going after this Gary Sheffield. I'll have you know right now. This Gary Sheffield is fucking nasty. We'll be going after that. But yeah, boys, that's going to do it for the video. Hit thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Sorry that the gameplay was so short. That's just how it is for early budget cuts. Um, sadly, we're in low ratings and people quit quick. I don't want to play more than one game because I want this to have longevity. So, uh, so what? I want the games to be fun to start. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.